Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Crafts with Ash DIY Decor. My name is Ashley and today I am so excited to show you the amazing garden scape transformation that I gave my dining room for spring and Easter. I even incorporated some super easy DIYs and I can't wait to show you so stay tuned. If you haven't done so already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and click the notification bell and in the drop down menu click all so you're notified about all notifications. I upload a bunch of times a month and I have so many amazing ideas coming up for the spring and summer seasons including a playroom makeover, organization, overhaul of my home, and getting my back patio and pool area ready for summer. So if that sounds like anything you'd be interested in, definitely hang with me for a while by subscribing. All right, well, first we're going to start off with some super easy DIYs. And if you're looking for easy, last minute, and affordable basket stuffers, then hang with me till the end, and I'm going to give you some fun ideas. Let's hop into it. All right, so for this first DIY, super easy. You've all seen these little filler eggs or carrots at the Dollar Tree, but I'm going to use them in my decor. But what I needed to do was to weight them down and to paint them. So what I'm going to do is just put some marbles in the little carrot. I am going to hot glue the lid on top. And then I'm going to take my pumpkin chalk paint. And I am going to give each one of these two coats. And I did paint three of them. Then when those are dry, I'm going to take my celery chalk paint and I'm going to paint over the little greenery part at the, on the top. Now my brush was wet still from when I uh, cleaned off the orange, so it didn't cover completely, but that's okay because I kind of liked that two-tone effect that it gave. And that's it to these carrots. For the next DIY, I am going to take a variety of different pots that I bought from the Dollar Tree. Now the two biggest ones I actually got at Hobby Lobby and they were 50% off so I got two for $2.99. So what I'm going to do is mix some ivory chalk paint with some water and I am just going to dry brush this mixture all over every single one of my pots and that is it. So these DIYs are not hard, they took minutes to make but I wanted to do these to incorporate them into my decor that I already had and this really paid off because you're gonna love how I used these coming up I just love how aged and rustic these all came out and they have different kind of shades to them which makes it even more realistic all right so in my dining room we are going to start off with my four tiered shelf and I'm going to start off with this cutting board that I got from the Dollar Tree and I believe they have them this year too now this little basket came from the Target dollar spot I stuffed it with a green towel because now I'm going to put my DIY bottle brush trees inside my basket I made a whole video of high-end Easter dupes, so if you missed that, definitely check my playlist of Easter DIYs because you are going to want to see those. I love them. Then this was another dupe that I made, and that is a bottle brush carrot. Then I'm just going to add this little hanging rabbit to the basket, and that completes the top. For the second shelf, I am going to use this stand that I got in the Target dollar spot this year. I am going to add this beaded garland that I got at the Dollar Tree, and obviously it is carrots. I wonder if you can catch the theme of this four-tiered shelf here. <laughs> obviously, it's going to be carrots. So I'm just kind of arranging that. I like it to hang a certain way. Next, I'm going to take this greenery. I'm going to lay it on its side just to add some dimension. And then I got this carrot farm sign from a three pack from Target Dollar Spot. Next, I added this bunny and I just glued one of those carrots to the bunny so it looks like he's holding one. Now I'm going to add my little truck and this was another piece from the Target Dollar Spot tier tray decor. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that to the back of my truck. 
Moving down to the third shelf, I'm going to add this crate from the Target Dollar Spot. You're going to hear me say Target Dollar Spot a thousand times in this video. <laughs> then I'm going to add this riser, and next to it, I'm going to add this Ray Dunn watering can, and I just threw some greenery inside. Now, I needed that riser because I am actually going to add the cutest decor piece from Hobby Lobby look it i wanted to add this on top because it looks like these buddies are trying to get into all the carrots so i thought that that would be so cute so now i'm gonna just go in and add some greenery and i always say that if something looks boring to you or just needs something add greenery it really helps now here are our diy carrots and i'm just gonna put one in each little opening and then I'm going to put moss around each one of the carrots. Now, fair warning, moss is messy. Yes, it is. And you can see me making a big mess. But the great thing is it vacuums up. <laughs> so make that mess and just elevate your decor with moss. So, and you know what? It was worth it because I really do love how this little display came out. To complete that shelf, I just took a little cloche. I'm going to put some fake little mini carrots from Hobby Lobby inside and put it behind my bunnies. Now moving down to the bottom, I got this big like tool crate thing from Target Dollar Spot. Probably got that from Target Dollar Spot too, the towel I don't remember. It was in my stash. I'm going to go ahead and fill that crate with some greenery. Then I'm going to take these carrots that I actually got from Michael's for 50% off this year, and I'm gonna put that inside the crate. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know I'm not a Michaels fan, but I thought that this, this was a great deal. I don't remember exactly how much they were, but either way, they were 50% off, and you know I wouldn't have bought them if it wasn't a good deal. Then to complete this bottom shelf, I just added more greenery, and that's it. My four-tiered shelf is complete. What do you think? One, two, three, four. No. Sleep on things run dry on melody. I can't see, I'm blinded by this concrete. And I should call you, see what you've been up to. I've been wondering how far did you go in seven months? I bet you're happy and don't think that much about me Here I am alone How to move on without you Moving on to this little shelf here, I'm going to go ahead and put this egg holder, I guess, on the back. And then I'm just going to use this little pink piece as a riser because I'm going to add this sign that says welcome to the garden right on right in front of that little egg tray. Now I'm going to add this watering can and I just added some little florals in it. And next I'm going to add some gardening gloves that I actually got from the Dollar Tree right next to the watering can. Now all this stuff you see here came from the Target Dollar Spot at one point or another. Now the next two things I'm actually going to add are tools from the Dollar Tree. And in a previous video, I aged them with cinnamon and Mod Podge. So I can have that linked down below, but I loved how these came out. I thought they looked so realistic, so old, so weathered. So I had to incorporate them. Then to kind of hide that pink riser, I'm just going to go through and add little touches of greenery. And that's it to the shelf. And I love this shelf. This shelf 
display is probably my favorite shelf display I've done on this shelf. How many times can I say shelf? <laughs> but ever since I've had it, this is my favorite. Then I forgot I added some moss balls to the side as well. Now to my little windows, which are actually the doors from my hutch, I thought, you know what, I want this to be whimsical, I want it to be garden-like, so I'm going to add these vines that I already had, they were from my daughter's fairy party a couple years ago, and I am just simply going to drape them. I thought this would be a different idea, usually I just add like a wreath on each of these, but I thought that these would be different, I didn't have any wreaths, so I was really like, what can I do, what can I do, and I thought of this, and I love it, I just think it's so different. So unique and a good alternative to, you know, a wreath or something. So then I went ahead and did it to my second window as well. Real quick, I want to take this opportunity to welcome you and thank you for clicking on my video today. I truly hope that you enjoy what you see so far. And hey, if you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Like I said earlier, my name's Ashley. I'm a mama of two, a five-year-old and a five-month-old. And I am a work-from-home mom boss. And I do own another business besides doing YouTube. But my channel is all things home decor, DIYs, organization, room makeovers, room refreshers, and mom magic hacks. So if any of that sounds appealing to you, like I said earlier, definitely hang with me for a while by subscribing. And if you, this is your first time, welcome. Let me know down in the comments that this is your first time so I can properly welcome you. Moving on to my hutch, I want the feel of this to be very, well, flowers and garden. <laughs> so I want you to pick up that vibe, and I, I wanted this to all be neutral, which is not like me, but I really am loving that for this spring. So I picked up the sign at Pop Shelf, and I just went ahead and put it on the that top shelf, and that's it to that shelf. Moving down to the middle, these are the DIY dupes that I made in my dupe video. So I'm going to put one of each in either side and then in the middle I'm going to put this charger plate that I actually got from Hobby Lobby and we're gonna go ahead and make a couple different vignettes so for this one I'm gonna add this riser that I got from the Target dollar spot this year and then we're going to go in with this super cute bunny that I got from Hobby Lobby. I had to have it. It was so cute. Now, it was $25.99, but I did get it for 40% off. But this is one of those pieces that you saw it and you're like, yes, I have to have it. Next to that, I'm going to go in with some of these very neutral carrots that I got from Walmart. The bigger one was $4.48 and the smaller one was $1.98. And these were the last two that they actually had in the store. So I was so happy that I could grab them. Then on the other side of the bunny, I'm just going to go in with a very little watering can. It's like a mini watering can. I just threw some greenery in there and I'm going to place it on the other side. Next, I'm going to go in with these candle holders that I already had. I've had these for years, and I'm going to split the center between uh, the two displays, like on either side. And then I'm going to go in with these moss balls from Hobby Lobby. These were 80, or, I'm sorry, 40 percent off. So I'm going to go ahead and put one on each. Now, it might bug you that they're a couple different sizes and, you know, heights and stuff, but I kind of like that. It gave it variation, but uh, so let me know what you think. Is this something that bugs you? <laughs> I want to know. All right, so now I'm going to go in with these bird cages that I got from Target Dollar Spot this year and address these up. I'm just going to simply take some moss. I'm going to make it look like a nest, so I'm going to make it kind of deeper in the middle. Then I'm going to take this pack of eggs from the Target doll, I mean, I'm sorry, from Hobby Lobby. They were $4.99, of course, 40% off. And I'm just going to put three eggs in my little nest, and then I'm going to put the cage back on it. And then I'm going to put it in the middle of my bunny and the candle holder. 
And then I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. I loved this little pop of color. It wasn't a huge pop of color, but I thought it was just enough because like I said, I'm still trying to stay with that neutral touch. So I just decided to go with these color eggs for this display. Finally, for the middle shelf, I'm going to go in with these little moss bunnies that I got from Target Dollar Spot, and I'm going to put one on either side of the middle display. Then we're going to move down to the bottom, and I'm going to start off with this egg cutting board or charcuterie board. I'm going to put that in the middle, and then in front, I'm going to layer two more. All this stuff came from Target Dollar Spot at one time or another. And I'm going to layer those in front of the egg cutting board. Next, I'm going to go in with a little wicker basket that also came from Target Dollar Spot. Literally almost everything on this shelf came from Target Dollar Spot. And then I'm going to go in with, uh, with this colander, also from Target Dollar Spot. <laughs> uh, so I told you you're going to hear me say that a thousand times in this video. Uh, this did not. This came from Hobby Lobby. I got it for 90% off or 75, one of the two, after their spring sale. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put some of this hanging greenery hanging out of it. And I actually had some sticks, so I went ahead and threw those in there too. Now I'm going to hang another cute little bunny off of that. And moving to the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put that greenery and a little hanging bunny. Next, I'm going to go in with two more of those moss bunnies. And as you can see, I'm putting them on the outside this time. So I'm working the diagonals. And then I'm going to go in with this little wood egg holder piece and I got it on clearance from Hobby Lobby for $3.74. Now to put in my little egg holder, I am going to use this pack of white speckled eggs from the from Hobby Lobby. They were 40% off of $5.99 and I'm just going to put one in each little hole. Now to dress this up a little bit, I did go in with some more moss and I just wrapped it around each one of the eggs and I loved the added detail that this gave. I am in love with my hutch this year. I think, well, this is the first time I've decorated it for spring and Easter. I didn't decorate it all last year, but you're going to have to let me know what you think. It's definitely giving me all the garden vibes. Without you, 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 without you, 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 new face, same old good anxiety. Where's your irony? Just smile. I got everything I need, but not what I wanted Cause I just wanted you And if I could, I'd leave the city too I don't blame you And I should call you, see what you've been up to I've been wondering how far did you go in seven months I bet you're happy and don't think that much about me Without you, 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 you,
moving on to my table. I love how this table came out. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this Moss Runner that I got from Michaels. I did get it for 40% off, so it was only like 12 something, which I didn't think was bad. And hey, I can use it every year. So I am going to go ahead and spread it out. Now it is kind of wrinkly now, but it will flatten as I start putting stuff on it. And now is where when we're going to bring in those pots that we painted. So I'm going to put the biggest ones on either side, on either end. And then I'm just going to go in with those middle size and kind of just angle them, put them facing different directions. Some of them are standing up, laying on their sides. And then I'm going to go in with the mini ones and do the same thing. Next, I'm going to go in with some moss, and I am just going to basically put a little bit of moss inside each one of the pots, and it was that simple. Again, I feel like this moss really adds so much to your decor. Next, I'm going to go in with these twine carrots, and I'm going to just randomly put carrots in some of the pots. I'm not going to put them in all of the pots, but just some. Then I got these little mini bird's nests from Hobby Lobby. It was a four-pack, and so I'm just going to spread them all around my little tablescape here, and I'm going to put one of those little mini eggs in each one of the nests, and I love that little detail too. I think it's so cute. Then I'm going to go back to the carrots. Now these are kind of bigger carrots. So I just went ahead and added some carrots to um, the bigger pots. And then like I said, I'm just randomly adding carrots. And uh, not in every single one, but just some of them. But I like the pop of color here. It definitely reminds me of a garden for sure. Next, I'm going to go in with more of those eggs, and I'm just going to kind of randomly place them just kind of wherever there's holes anywhere or just, just needs something. And then I'm going to go in with the carrots, and I'm going to keep doing that. So I'm kind of switching back and forth between the carrots and the eggs and just filling any holes. I'm also going to go in with the big white speckled carrots and I'm going to fill any holes with those as well. And I, yeah, I just, I love it so far. It's coming out super cute. Okay, so at this point I loved where it was going, but it just needed something. So I'm going to take that moss garland. If you watched my last two videos, you saw me use some of the moss garland 
as picks and I'm basically taking it apart and I'm just going to go through and just fill in all of these holes and I really do think that this elevated it a lot. So I actually went to Hobby Lobby to go buy another one because their florals are 50% off right now. They are gone. I did not see them at all. I was so sad because I wanted to pick up one more, but I am going to have to keep my eye out for that. But if you missed my last two decorate with me's, you're definitely going to have to catch those because oh, you're just going to love how my kitchen, coffee bar, and living room came out. An entryway, just so super fun and so cute and completely different than this style and look too. So you're definitely going to have to check that out. We will be going back to that tablescape, the centerpiece, in a minute, but we're going to go ahead and do our table settings. I'm going to go in with these dark wicker uh, chargers that I got from Hobby Lobby. I actually got them for like 75% off for the after spring sale last, last year. And now I'm going to go in with these wood chargers. I'm sorry, those were placemats. These are chargers. So I'm going to go in with those. And these just came from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go ahead and place one on each one of the placemats. Then I'm going to go in with these mint colored plates. These are not the plates I wanted. They I got these from the Dollar Tree. I wanted the dark green one, green ones, which they had, and I did not get them, and I know better than that. And so I'm going to keep my eye out. I would prefer the dark green ones. Now I'm going to go in with my orange napkins. These I had in my stash already, and I'm just simply going to lay one on each plate. And then to top this off, look how cute. I was not going to buy these. And then I happened to notice that they were $2.50 on the Pottery Barn Kids website. So I had to pick these up. I thought that they were so adorable. They are actually Malamine, which I really like. But I had to have them. If you remember my dupe video, I did make a dupe of this. But I figured, hey, I got the real thing. And I got it super, super cheap. So I wanted to use them. So I got two different styles. So I'm just alternating them and I'm just going to use them in my display. Now I'm going to go in with these glasses that I got from the Target dollar spot this year. And that's it for the table settings. Now, as I was looking at the centerpiece, I knew it needed something. So I grabbed these really cute bunnies from Hobby Lobby. The big ones were 40% off of $9.99 and the smaller ones I think were $5.99 and then you get 40% off. I got two of the big ones, two of the small ones and I'm just going to incorporate them in my uh, display here and I love this little touch that it added. I think it is so cute. Then to finally complete this, I'm going to go in with this greenery. It kind of looked like a vegetable to me or like it could be or something. I don't know. I just wanted to go in. It kind of had that purple tone to it too. So I went ahead and added these in random spots as well. And that was it. This is how my dining room table came out. Let me know what you think. Things run dry. Now for my bar cart, I did, I decorated it and my camera shut off. This happened to me last time, but I'm just showing you how I decorated it. Um, I did end up putting some vines around it, so it gave it more of that touch. It's very simple, nothing crazy, um, and very cute.
Then I added this sign on the wall, which is actually in a DIY video that I did a couple years ago. And that completed my dining room. Let me know what you think. I absolutely love it. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party Okay, so real quick I thought I'd go over some really easy basket ideas um, most of this stuff honestly came from the Dollar Tree. So the first basket I'm going to show you is actually for um, my cousin's little boy. He is two. He's going to be three in August. So I got him, I always do books. I love books. Um, I got him a um, Easter book. I He loves Daniel Tiger and I can never find Daniel Tiger stuff. So I jumped on that of course. And then he loves Blue's Clues, Cocoa Melon. So this is like one of those uh, um, Imagine Ink things. This did not come from um, Dollar Tree. This actually, I think, came from the Target Dollar Spot a while ago, but I just found it. And it was probably for him and I, like, for Christmas or something, and I just forgot. This came from the Dollar Tree. Don't know how it's going to be, but I heard they were good. Got him bubbles. And then this came from Five Below. I thought it was really cute. We're all going on a beach vacation in July, so I just thought that would be kind of cute for him. And then this I actually had, um, so I thought I would throw that in his basket. And then some coloring books. And then, of course, I'm going to do some chocolate um, or some candy or fruit snacks and then this is the little tub that I got him uh this just came from the Dollar Tree and I thought it was perfect so I'm just gonna throw you know this stuff in here and just you know arrange it really cute I know it looks like a lot of like boring stuff because of books but to be honest like I know that he's gonna get so much stuff so I just thought that this would be really cute all right now we're gonna move over to Amelia I know it looks like she has a lot um but I kind of do pick up things like throughout the year um, just to kind of grab and have on hand. Uh, so don't judge me. Okay, so first I wanna show you her basket. I actually bought this basket years ago when she was first born and I got her name embroidered on it. How's this for um, Quinky Dinky? Uh, I bought two of these. <laughs> so I just found the other one and this was years ago at a place that's not even around anymore. So I bought two of these. Charlotte does have one, but right now it is with um, one of my friend's embroiders. He did this too, or his dad did. Um, so I will be getting that soon. So I don't have hers right now, but it looks exactly like this, and it will have Charlotte. So I cannot believe, oh my gosh, that was just perfect. So let's go through some stuff that I got Amelia. So as you know, I've mentioned before, she hates taking baths, <laughs> so I, um, anything that tries to make baths fun, I guess, so Dollar Tree, Target Dollar Spot, and then I got these ones too, these ones for, tar for Target Dollar Spot, so I'm hoping she likes those, and then I got her those, so they like, and she likes that, and that, this comes with the crayons. She got the Minnie Mouse ones for Valentine's Day, and so I thought I'd get her the Peppa ones for now. Okay, so then she loves her fun cup, so I got her a Peeps cup. But before that, I actually got her a Gabby dollhouse. I might actually save this for her birthday next month in May. I don't know. She still loves Gabby, so I, I'll, I'll see about that. And then I got her a cookie as well. Um, and then I saw this, she's kind of getting more into arts and crafts. So I thought that this would be cute. It's like a scratch 
in it she can practice her letters and stuff and it's mess free which is my favorite part and then I got her bubbles I got her headband she just came from the Dollar Tree she loves her sparkly headbands and then from five below I actually saw this fairy kit she loves making potions and things like that so I think she's really gonna love that um, plus she's all about her fairy garden right now so I think she's gonna love just making like all of these little fairy potions and then look at this book. I found this at Target. Now, they did not have I Love You Charlotte. So, I ordered that one on um, the website. It is not here yet, but she will get one too. But I just thought that this was adorable. Ugh, I'm just so excited to give that to her. And then I got her some socks from the Dollar Tree. This came from Dollar General. I just thought it was so cute. It's like a scrunchie and that she can wear in her hair. And it has like a little thing and then this is the one she's gonna go crazy over she is obsessed with disney zombies we're a little late to the game on that one because she's kind of just now old enough but she loves disney zombies so i thought that i would get i found this whole set on amazon it came with pom-poms and it came with a hair bow so I thought I'd get her this dress and she's going to freak out. She's literally going to freak out. So I cannot wait till, you know, she sees this in her basket. She's going to freak. So um, because she keeps dressing up, she doesn't have anything. So because she's just now getting into zombies. And in fact, her birthday parties is going to be zombies. Let me know if your kids were into the Disney zombies. Um, like I said, we're just getting into it. And of course... Like the Zed doll, if you know, if you know, you know. But if the Zed doll I can find on Amazon, no problem. The Addison doll, that's an issue because they're like hundreds of dollars. And I'm like, why? Anyway, let me know down in the comments. Let me know down in the comments if you guys were uh, zombie fans. And I'm talking about the Disney zombies. All right, now let's move on to Charlotte. So don't forget, she'll have that basket. She's also going to have that book that'll say, I love you, Charlotte. And then I found this a long time ago. I don't even know if this is going to fit her, but this came from Home Goods. It was $7.99. I thought it was really cute. I don't know if it's going to fit her, but I'll throw it in the basket. Who knows? And then I got her bubbles. Obviously, I know she can't blow bubbles, but I feel like she might like to see the bubbles. And then I got her one of these as well. And I thought that this was cute for our little beach vacation. I got her a little nibbles and this is a carrot and I thought it was so cute. I saw it on Amazon. I was looking for like cute little Easter things for babies and I thought that was adorable. And then look, I found this at Meyer actually. It's a rattle and it's Peter Rabbit. They did have Peter Rabbit, but obviously I got her Flopsy. And then this is something we never had. This is like that thing that you wrap around the car seat handle and she will love this. She loves anything. She really loves her toys. She loves anything that like um, crunches like like this that makes that noise. So I think she's really going to love that. Um, and we are always like constantly back and forth with taking toys out of our car seat, putting them back in the house. So this can just stay in the car seat. So I am really excited to put, I, yeah, I think she's really gonna love that. But anyway, so that's just some ideas. Um, so three-year-old, well, almost three-year-old, six-month-old, six, almost six-year-old. Um, those are those some ideas for them. So maybe I gave you some last-minute ideas. Now, of course, in this basket and the um, in Giovanni's basket, I'm going to be putting some uh, egg or uh, candy-filled eggs um, and stuff. But I'm really trying hard not to do a lot of candy in Amelia's especially because I know she's going to get a ton all day. She's going to get spoiled. Easter is like Christmas over here because we just have such a big family. So anyway, so that is, um, that's all. So I hope you got some really cute ideas. Happy Easter. Well, I hope that this video gave you some great decorating ideas and Easter basket ideas for this upcoming holiday. Hey, listen, if you loved this video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up and catch one of my other ones like this one right here. Don't forget to click my face to subscribe. And thank you so much for joining me. And until I see you again, I'll decorate with you soon. Bye.